What is happening, Magnesites? So, with everything going on, that Biden just helped continue to keep going. Uh, we have a message here from President Trump on how he's going to stop it all. Oh, boy. We have never been closer to World War III than we are today under Joe Biden. A global conflict between nuclear armed powers would mean death and destruction on a scale yeah. unmatched in human history. Yeah. It would be nuclear Armageddon. Destroy ourselves. Nothing is more important than avoiding that nightmare. We will. You think I'm trying to live like Fallout? <laughs> you got another thing coming. We'll avoid it, but we need new leadership. Every day this proxy battle in Ukraine continues. We risk global war. We must be absolutely clear that our objective is to immediately have a total secession of hostilities. All shooting has to stop. This is the central issue. We need peace without delay. In addition, there must also be a complete commitment to dismantling the entire globalist neocon establishment that is perpetually dragging us into endless wars, pretending to fight for freedom and democracy abroad, mm. while they turn us into a third world country and a third world dictatorship right here at home. The State Department, the defense bureaucracy, the intelligence services, and all of the rest need to be completely overhauled and reconstituted to fire the deep staters and put America first. We have to put America first. Finally, we have to finish the process we began under my administration of fundamentally revaluating NATO's purpose and NATO's mission. Our foreign policy establishment keeps trying to pull the world into conflict with a nuclear armed Russia based on the lie that Russia represents our greatest threat. Hmm. But the greatest threat to Western civilization today is not Russia. It's probably, more than anything else, ourselves and some of mm. the horrible USA-hating people that represent us. It's the mm. abolition of our national borders. It's the failure to police our own cities. It's yeah, you know, there, there is a lot of people that live here that really hate where they live. And it's, it's, it's an interesting dynamic to read and watch videos of these people. Go to Twitter, you'll see plenty. The destruction of the rule of law from within. It's the collapse of the nuclear family and fertility rates like nobody can believe. If the nuclear family was still strong and we were teaching strong principles still, things would be a lot better. I mean, my buddy... Um, He's a dean at a school, and he was telling me some stories today about how some some kids were fighting. And he had to suspend them, and the parents came up there. Oh, you mother's done messed up now. No, no, he said, hey. she said, he said the mom was like, oh, you messed up now. I'm calling the, I'm calling the news. Uh, to most of you, just sign that line right there. I don't have to explain why that's bad. I don't have to explain to you why a parent coming up to the school and talking like that, why that's bad. I, I, I don't have to. You, you, you already get it. The fact that there's going to be people that's watching me right now that don't get it, that's, that's your problem. That's your problem. There's a whole lot of ignorant folk out there that just don't understand couth, class, how to conduct yourself, what's right, what's wrong. He was telling me stories about how moms was taking their daughters to a, to a, girl, a place where certain girls were working so that they could all fight. Like... Who's going to do that? Now, if you grew up in certain cities, you already know who. Some of you are who. 
that's that's not a good thing. Okay? It, it's not. And I know people like that. You know what I mean? It, it's it's Oh God. But that's only part of the problem. Because we, we got people that want war. That's low level street stuff. That's I mean, but you got people that want war and want to profit off of this. They don't care about human lives, man. This is some sick ish we got going on. I'm I'm telling y'all right now. If I get if I know that we're going to war and there's going to be stuff on U.S. soil, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I don't know where I'm going to go. Sweden, Denmark, Thailand. I don't know. I don't know. I'll find If that happens, I'm going to Italy. Gladiator 2 has convinced me. I love Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and the Revelations. I love Italy. I'm going to start studying Italy next month, if not by January. I'm going to start studying Italian, I'm sorry. And uh, if we do go to war in the next few years, two years, one year, whatever, I'm, I'm moving my ass to Italy. So, Tyler, I'm going to go to Italy and hit me up. Somewhere safe. I ain't coming back. Or at least until it's all over. I ain't coming back. I'm just, I'm, 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 this world. <sighs> it's happening. It's the Marxists who would have us become a godless nation worshiping at the altar of race and gender mm. and environment. Yeah. And it's the globalist class that has made us totally dependent on China and other mm. foreign countries that basically hate us. These globalists want to squander all of America's strength, blood, and treasure, chasing monsters and phantoms overseas while keeping us distracted from the havoc they're creating right here at home. These forces are doing more damage to America than Russia and China could ever have dreamed. Mm. Evicting the sick and corrupt establishment is the monumental task for the next president. And I'm the only one who can do it. I'm the only one that can get the job done. I know exactly what has to be done. I believe that, considering what Biden just did. So I definitely believe that. And when Kamala was running, she wasn't saying nothing about making sure that the wars stopped and everything. So God bless this world. God bless America. And God bless Donald Trump to get all of this done. Cause I'm tired of the wars, I'm tired of the dying, I'm tired of the fighting, I'm tired of the sickness, I'm tired of all of this crap. <sighs> 10 million subscribers. Hold on. He didn't say it.